Oh, well, let's move on to our next controversial topic. Equal pay for women. So, I don't know. You tell me. Do you really think that women are not being treated, one, equally in the workforce, which I'm sure some women will make that claim? And then, two, do you believe that women, for some reason, are making less than men? I don't believe women are making less than men, generally speaking. I think, if anything, it, I think it's actually starting to go the other way. Um, I think I think that that um, feminists especially love to throw certain figures around where it's like, hey, look, she's not actually getting paid as much, and she's not. And those numbers have been disproven over and over and over again. But uh, the feminists really want to push them in a certain way. The fact of it is, is that women have actually reached equality already with men. Yes, at points you could you could always find a small business and point to it and go, "Hey, they didn't pay this person this much." And can you find really a corporation that's doing that? Can you find a big corporation where you're like, "Hey, Coca-Cola is not actually doing this. Coca-Cola is not doing that." And and if if you're really thinking that you know, th- th- at least the one thing that I always hear is, "Hey, you know what?" women are not ceos women are not presidents you know there's just not a lot of them out there and the truth of the matter is that's correct imagine if i had the power with the flick of my finger i was able to make equality happen for women right now okay if i did it right now would that mean that you know ford would go to half of their employees and go like you guys are fired and we're going to put women in those positions no equality would mean that once it gets to their time so let's say a person leaves ford now men and women apply and they have equal opportunity to get the job sometimes men will get it sometimes women will get it and that's exactly what we're seeing we're seeing women get into higher positions on a regular basis we're seeing them ceos we're seeing them as as presidents we're seeing them as high executive positions so the idea that somehow equality is not here is basically this thing that if you just say it over and over again you think that it's actually true no, I, I definitely agree with you. I've worked uh, for corporations and uh, women were leading the entire floor. You know what I mean? So to say that uh, this particular woman, she's not making as much money as the male counterpart. Well, how, how do you determine that? what do you what do you base base it in on you know i mean uh what are you basing on the fact that she's just a woman and uh you know she's going up against uh, a man it, i mean there's so many different qualifications that you have to look at experience you know your degree uh where you got your degree you know maybe uh people who receive their degree from harvard are making more money than people who received it from UCLA. Mm-hmm. I mean, that that could be a factor as well. And to say that women are making less than men, for example, in entertainment, uh, women are coming out and saying, well, I'm making less than my male counterpart. Well, what's his uh, resume compared to your resume? And the other question is, did your um, agent. agent right negotiate the right deal for you? Right. If, if you're dumb enough to take the first deal that the studio gives you, well, that's your problem. Well, right? well absolutely. When you look at the, the entertainment industry, for example, right now, and you look at Katy Perry and Taylor Swift those women are making outrageous money and they're not complaining well i'm you know the counterpart i don't even know who to be a real counterpart to them i think they are probably the highest paid in entertainment or at least some of the highest paid and you you can't really go like well you know they're not and the thing is they have the right people around them that are getting them that and if you if you're if you're an actress and you're thinking that somehow well i'm getting underpaid you're, it's your fault. It really is. I mean, if if you're if you have a lot of force behind you, meaning you have like a resume that shows, hey, this is what I did. This is how much my movies make. Guess what? They're going to pay you. I remember Cameron Diaz was making like 
and um, don't quote me on this, but I think it was like over twenty million dollars for the Shrek movies because they were all doing so well. No one was arguing. Oh man, well you know she should be getting paid way more well, than that. It, it's funny, uh, feminists never argue when it's fair pay. They always argue when they feel like, you know, the woman has been wrong, in in any uh, situation. It, it's it. They never argue the positive. They always argue the negative. And the negative, in most cases, in my opinion, whether it's pay, whether it's bullshit claims about how uh, a guy raped a woman, you know, and it's not even the case, you know, well, they, 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 well, argue, I mean, I mean, they argue those points that, you know, society is um, geared towards men and not women are you are you serious when whenever a guy and a girl goes on a date let me see who picks up the bill the guy right. when's the last time a guy expected for a woman to pick up the bill or to even split the bill when has that happened? Well, it, it does, does happen. It, it happens. Does, it happens rarely, but though. there's no expectation of it. Yes, usually guys, there guys, isn't. guys don't expect it. I mean, if you want to be equal, which you can't, uh, f- uh, physiologically, physically, or even mentally, can't you can't be equal on do- those terms, but socially, you know, you can be equal, but you won't even do that. You won't expect to split the bill or pick up the... Well, picking up the bill means there's an inequality. But even splitting the bill 50-50, you girls won't even want to do that. But that's the thing. But that's the thing. It seems like it's actually going the other way at this point. It's actually going towards the feminist position where women are becoming the 60 and we're and we're becoming the 40. And the thing is, you could take a look at it very easily in terms of... For example, the what you were talking about in terms of dating, you know, it's like there's certain things that women want, and it's like, okay, so so you go on a date, you cover, you cover, you open the door for her, you pay for the date, you walk her to her car or to her apartment, whatever the case is, but you have these things that you are supposed to do, like pull out the chair for her and so on, and that's expected. That's expected, but when it's it's, it can't be 50-50 when the expectation is that. And then when I would ask, well, what would be expected from a woman? What should a woman do in that respect? And the truth of the matter is most women go like, well, she just should be there. She should be just whatever, look pretty or something. Well, well okay. So the girl is supposed to um, yeah, exactly. c- come, the out, come out um. and be beautiful, dress nice, smell nice. But that that's not how it should be if a woman expects for me to pay for everything to take her out to wine and dine her to show her a good time then i expect certain things from her i expect for her to want to clean want to cook uh take care of me when I need for her to take care of me. I mean, you know, let's get real. So the guy's responsibility has never faded. But women, as time progressed and as uh, the feminist movement progressed, women are not expected to do anything Absolutely. except for look pretty. Absolutely. This and is, come on, that's ridiculous. This is, yeah, this is the... the the example that I that I gave my friends over and over again already, but it's it's this thing that if I was to go with let's say my girlfriend onto a popular show when let's say Oprah was around, let's say I would go onto her show and she would go there and she would stand up and she would go, okay, you know what? A man's job is, and she would start listing off a man's job is to pay for the date, a man's job is to kill the spider, you know, it's supposed to fix things around the house, take out the trash and just a bunch of different things that you're that a woman list and everyone in the crowd including the men would clap for that they would go oh yeah that's exactly what a man like a man should do now i would stand up and I'd go like you know okay and a woman's job is and before i'm able to even finish that sentence i could predict that pretty much 
people are going to be ready like okay you're about to say something wrong you're about to how can you possibly have any expectations for women if i would continue with that okay well a woman's job is to cook the meals oh no that's wrong if i said what about clean oh that's wrong if i said anything like literally there's basically nothing that i could expect from a woman without getting booed on that kind of stage because that's not what it's expected you're not like a woman is not supposed to cook anymore a woman's not supposed to clean like take care of the house it's not there is no 50 50 yet men are expected to do all the things that are there like you're always supposed to do that you're always supposed to you know have your side taken care of well that's not 50 50 anymore no now not, women, not even close yeah now women are getting the benefit of the gentleman but we're not getting I just, the I benefit just, of I a lady i just love how women save their paycheck buy clothing for themselves with their own money while we men spend money on them yes we, we know it's ridiculous when we go out i pay he doesn't want to pay. I mean, even if she's making a little less or more than me, she, she's not expected to pay. Right. And oh. she won't pay. Right. Because she knows. She. I mean, women are smart when it comes to things like this. They realize, why should I pay for my men or even pay half when I can save my share and buy shoes that cost two, three hundred dollars. You're you're absolutely right in that respect, but but I would I would probably not not say that it's something that women are thinking logically. I think it's more that hey, this is the way I was raised. This is the way my mom did it. This is the way my grandmother did it. We're not supposed to spend money. We're not really supposed to do anything like that we're supposed to basically look pretty go out on a date and the difference between their mom and their grandparents is that they used to do the ex the extra stuff they used to do the cleaning they used to do the 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 cooking around right, exactly. and stuff like that so so that doesn't exist anymore so now the only thing a girl is supposed to do is look pretty and they're not even doing it a lot of times for the guys they're doing it for other women because they don't want to be judged okay, by other and, women. and let's get real girls okay how many of you are attractive to a point where you can land any guy come on let's get real okay majority of women are not attractive it's true. Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 it's there. true. It's true. Hey. Majority of women majority. are not attractive. No, majority. Come on. I think. I think. I, I don't. I, 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 I don't. I think, first of all, I don't even know what this has to do even with the conversation. I think it's sixty. I think it's sixty forty. I don't. But, I don't even know where that well, even because, has to do with the conversation. Hey, I listen, completely disagree listen. with you on that. Okay. Well, you can disagree where you want. I you just can, you, you can disagree on anything you want, but my opinion is sixty forty. 60% of women are not attractive. That's just my opinion. Hey, I think you have a really high degree of attractiveness hey, if that's what you really believe. It is, it is what it is. But what I'm trying to get at it's is... It's not what it is. It's what listen, you think it is. Listen, not all women can get away with uh, not you know, paying their share, you know, making sure that they only take care of themselves. No, I don't think so. So uh, I, I feel as though women should learn more of the traditional skills and be women okay okay, okay. i'm i'm you know? i'm going to i'm going to stop you there because i think I th okay i think i think it's not necessarily one like what you're saying I, I think women have to choose which way they're going to go either you're going to go with the feminist movement that it's 50 50 and actually be 50 50 so no opening the door no men being uh, like like no like the men doesn't have to do the rest the men doesn't have to pay for the date the men doesn't have to approach you to ask you out it should be literally 50 50 and that's what it should be but if you're not for that then it has to be the other way around where a woman takes the role of a traditional marriage where women cooks and clean takes care of the house and so on so if that's the case then go for that but you have to speak up you can't be in the middle of it going like i want the equality but i also want the extras you can't it's one or the other and that's that's basically well where it's at, at least well, for me definitely agree with you on that you, you you ladies you can't have it both ways you know what i mean you can't have it this way and you can't have it that way you can't have the guy taking care of you and then when he comes home after work for him to also cook for you at the same time and clean for you 
and and do everything that you expect for him to do and you just lay there pretty doing nothing you can't do that you can't expect both and i'll give you an example i dated this girl for a month and she told me what she expected of me so she wanted this she wanted that she wanted the other and pretty much they were all male roles and then when it came down to it when i asked her so if we would get married would you cook she said well why can't you cook and i'm like thinking about it but wait a second you're asking me to do a b c and also d and then e and then f and the, i mean like am i a robot <laughs> you know what i mean it's ridiculous come on you can't have it this way and that way so yeah so you hear so ladies I agree. this so, so young I agree. bachelor I here Alex. Yeah. he's telling you you need to pick and you need to be honest with him and tell him up front what you want either you want it one way or the other way and he could then tell you what he wants from you well that depends if i like you if i like you then you can tell me one way or another yeah. if i don't and like by the you way, by the i way, don't you, give a shit and by the way you gotta remember <laughs> he thinks most of you are ugly so just just walk away hey listen just walk away all right listen listen the truth is the truth. Whether you want to face it or not, in my opinion, it's just an opinion. It's your truth. Let's put it it's that way. It's my truth. It's your truth. 100%. Okay, you know what? Okay, so we're, 100%. We're, 60% of the women are not attractive. 40% are. I'll stick with a 40. Somebody else uh, will uh, take the By the way, the at this point, I do want to tell you that he is blind since birth. So you have to take his opinion with a little, you know, a little salt in there. Okay, you know. blind, blind <laughs> in a different way. All right, okay, all right, okay. So, but pretty much going back to the feminism movement in America, at a point in the 60s when the feminist movement originated, uh, I agree with it. It made sense to me. Uh, but to tell you the truth, in the modern era, right now, feminism is really obsolete. There's no need for feminism at all. In the, the United States, maybe. In the United honest, States. Yes. What are these feminists fighting for? And I'll give, I, you, I'll give you a good uh, scenario as to uh, why I think this is BS. For example, this is, this is very interesting. And this happened recently. There's this college student, a girl or, or a young woman. Uh, she supposedly got raped. And the reason I'm saying that she supposedly got raped because she's a dumbass. And I'll start with that. But what happened was she went to a party. She got shit-faced, drunk, okay? And that's what college students do. Uh, she wakes up and she sees that there's a guy on top of her having sex with her, okay? Uh, to say that he raped you, I don't know about that. The thing is, is that she was drunk. She should have been responsible. And they're all drunk. It's not as if she was the only one that was drunk. The guy probably was drunk as well. So why say that he raped uh, her? Maybe she raped him. But he's not reporting that. Because he's a guy. Well, the only reason she's reporting it is because she's a girl. She made the bad decision there. She got drunk. It's not as if she was sober and the guy forced himself on her. She probably even gave consent to the guy to do so. Well, it is you know? It is wrong, the new rule that, that colleges have, which is basically... And I think it's only in California. I'm not, I'm not really sure about this. But basically, if you're drunk you have to get consent which is basically that that's not rape when both people are drunk and they do stupid stuff that's not really rape you're you're there you're not forced to be there you're not forced to drink and and the truth of the matter is is that the guy is as drunk as you are so when you decide to do something stupid together like sleep together he didn't rape you because he's the guy it, it just one doesn't go necessarily with the other but but at the same time going back going back to what you were saying in terms of um 
the feminist movement not being needed at all in the United States. What I, what I would suggest is this. Not necessarily that you don't have to be in the United States because there are small businesses out there. Like if you go somewhere, you know, in the boondocks or something like that, you'll find a certain business who's like, I'm not going to hire any woman or women should do this or women should be paid this. You will definitely find them. And that's where, if you're a feminist movement, that's where you should be. You should find those nicks and crannies where you basically are able to do some good because you can do some good in that department. But to try to go after the general idea that women somehow are still not equal to men in some way is ridiculous. And the only thing you're doing is going the other way. And I think at a certain point, men will step up and go like, wait, 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 wait a second. It's going too much the other way now where we're becoming second class citizens and women are going, well, wait a second. Now, you know, we just want equality and it's sort of going the other way. And we have to make sure that we're on the same page, because if not, it's your what you're going, what you're trying to accomplish will become a negative thing, not a positive thing. Well, where, where's the feminist movement when it comes to Syria and Iraq? Uh, the uh, the ISIS organization or ISIL constantly uh, degrades women, rapes women. Were they? Were they denouncing ISIS? I don't think I've heard. That's that's you know, sort I of haven't the, heard that. That's sort of the uh, the hypocrisy that exists. Yeah. Where where the excuse that they use for, especially the Middle East, when they do horrific things to women, is well, that's their culture. They'll play that one video of a the woman. Joke. Right, absolutely. But they'll play that one video of a Middle Eastern woman going, but this is what I want. I, I don't need to be free. I don't need to do whatever. What you think is good is not good for me. And that's the video that they'll play over and over again going, see, she's happy with it. No, she's not. She was born into that idea. That's the thing. If you're, if you're, if you're not born into it and you're open-minded to things and if you decide that that's the way you want to be treated power to you but i promise you this that will be the extremely extremely small minority like in maybe tens or something and i mean tens not tens of thousands but like tens and then let me say this if you're a feminist and you agree with a feminist uh movement in the united states you can't pick and choose your definition of uh how you support women you can't you know, if, if you're for women's rights, you're for women's rights around the world. You can't say, well, we're only for women's rights in the United States in a democracy. But in a uh, totalitarianism in the Middle East, we're, we're okay with that. You can't pick and choose your definition of what feminism is. So either disband your organization or start uh you know uh working towards your uh mission statement there you go now you've heard it from the man he told you what he thinks get it done that's right anyways okay